Head out the door around the six o'clock hour. Temperatures will be near 50 degrees. El Paso, Las Cruces, west to northwest winds around five to 10 miles per hour. Then by the eight o'clock hour, we're still tracking the 50s. So with this cold front moving in yesterday, we were in the 80s. We're only going to climb to the upper 60s today and typically around this time of year, we're usually sitting around 70 degrees. But notice tomorrow it will be even colder and here's why another cold front's going to be moving in this time from the east and that's going to usher in colder air and bring us breezy to low and windy conditions. So that's why it's going to be so much cooler by Friday afternoon. But with this cold front now tracking east, there is a freeze watch which will be in place for Culberson County. So expect very cold temperatures tonight into tomorrow morning. Our current weather setup shows that cold front still tracking east, but I'm already watching the next cold front out west that will cool us down to start out the work week. So that's what we're looking ahead to. And with this cold front moving in, it's going to be noticeably colder next week, and it's also going to be windy on Monday. So just a heads up. Typically, we're sitting around 66 degrees next week, but we will only be in the 50s. So just be prepared for that. Our future track wind gust tracker does show we'll still be tracking some breezy to low and windy conditions throughout the rest of the day today. Around lunchtime, gust around 20 miles per hour in Las Cruces, around 24 in Cloudcroft, Guadalupe Pass, around 20 25 miles per hour. Cold front not ushering in much moisture at all, so we will remain under mainly clear skies. Latest future track computer model shows through 10 o'clock. We're still clear. One o'clock, lots of sunshine. Few high clouds rolling through around the six o'clock hour, but still not tracking any rain through Friday at five o'clock, seven o'clock hour. I know a lot of you will have the day off for Veterans Day. So get outdoors if you can enjoy it, but of course it's going to be a little cooler. Now Saturday, it will be a great morning if you maybe want to get out there and do some yard work, rake up some leaves. The winds will be calm and temperatures will climb to the 60s on Saturday. On Sunday, we're at 69 degrees. We also have the Battle of I-10 on Saturday. So if you're going to the UTEP New Mexico State game, just make sure you take a jacket along with you because after the game, of course, it's going to be a little cooler. Las Cruces, Saturday, you're in the low 60s. Then by Sunday, 66 degrees. So pretty nice looking weekend. As I mentioned, on Monday, the next cold front moves in. So by Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll only be sitting in the 50s. Rihanna.